What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Lex and Avery is currently taking her little nap at the moment. But guys, I wanted to go through the new diaper bag. I got to replace the preset vapor diaper bag I had. So if you've watched my previous videos, you would know that I love the preset label diaper bag. It was just the suitable one for me. I loved the grab handle on it, the fact that it was a lightweight material, it was a nylon material, easy to clean. I was able to throw it in the wash. It was not too girly, it was more gender neutral bag and I was able to wear it and her father was able to wear it. Not that he really cares, he would kind of work with anything, he's not too picky, but I just took it into consideration to get one just like that so he feels comfortable wearing it too. And the fact that it had um, the cushion straps, it was not too large, it was more compact and it could fit what I needed to fit and then if I needed some extra things to put in there, it was able to fit that too. But overall, the bag was really nice and the fact that the interior was a neutral color as well, you know I was going to be able to use it when she outgrows diaper bags. I would be able to use it for myself if needed and it had a laptop section as well. However, so the zipper did end up breaking on it. It was a double zipper and they both ended up breaking on me. It does not zip up anymore, so it just sucks. I did have it for six months and actually currently it is unavailable. I had some people reach out trying to get the bag and they were wondering why isn't the link working and things like that and honestly i'm glad it didn't work for you guys if i had a zipper trouble i am glad you guys weren't able to get it because i don't want to suggest something that's going to break down on you so i'm happy it wasn't available however i i want to show you guys my experience you know to help you guys out in finding a diaper bag i do take in a lot to consideration when looking for the perfect diaper bag for me. I'm very picky. I've seen so many reviews on diaper bags, looked at so many different ones on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. And, you know, I'm basically learning from all this information given to me and I just want the perfect fit for me. I love when the diaper bag shops are cushioned. I would want a lightweight diaper bag, an easy material to clean. I want something with a lot of pockets. I want something that has large enough pockets that I'm not struggling to fit things inside. I want something that has the travel slip in the back of the backpack that makes it easier when you travel. I know we are in a pandemic, but once this passes, if I'm going somewhere, I want to be able to place my diaper bag on top of my luggage handlebar without it tipping over in case I don't want to carry it. I want that option. I want something with pockets in the back of the diaper bag so I can get used to that as well. You know, you're spending so much on a diaper bag. You want a lot of options. You want a lot of pockets and things like that. So I also wanted like something neutral, neutral colors. That's just my preference. I love neutral colors that just match with anything. I want a neutral inside, not too kiddie-ish because I want to be able to use the bag as well when she's grown or, you know, she can grow with it longer too if it's not too kiddie-ish. So there's a lot to take into consideration. So the previous diaper bag I was using since the preset labeled diaper bag stopped working on me was the Itsy Bitsy Mini Love It. Such beautiful gold hardware. It is double zippers. And the rubber soles on the bottom to protect the material was beneficial as well. Plus this pocket, guys. I love my little back pockets the best. This was perfect for me. I'm still gonna use it. It's not like I'm not gonna use it, but you know, the weather we are in right now, it's currently cold, we're in winter where I am. So I like to pack extra sweaters, little vests, coats for Avery, just because she does spit up, she drools, she stains her outfits that she wears. So, you know, I like to have that extra set just for her. And, you know, coats, vests, 
sweaters they're puffy so it would not fit in this one just because i had this one packed to the brim it was able to fit everything i needed in here but since it's cold i like to carry a little more to keep her warm an extra blanket stuff like that you know so it was not going to be able to fit in here and i literally carry like a reusable little target bag you know i didn't mind it but i rather just have it all in one bag on my back so i needed something a little bigger just for this weather but you know once spring and summer comes around i'm definitely going to be using this one a lot more because i'm going to be carrying less so it's not like i'm not going to be using this i love it personally and the only thing is straps are thin but it's a smaller bag so it's okay it holds a limited amount of things and so i just purchased the 12 little companion backpack so this bag is a little pricey to some people for me it was a little pricey and i was not gonna get it for full price honestly i probably wouldn't have but it was on sale so i was like oh yes okay let me get it. It's on sale. I scooped it up since it was on sale. They are coming out with a new line. So they had some of their older versions on sale. And I was like, you know, great. And honestly, I'm happy that I was able to get this. It is good quality. Not going to lie. Like, this is good quality. It's a nice quilted, thick material. It's still lightweight. Beautiful gold hardware. It does have little feet at the bottom. I want to go through each pocket with you guys and just show you how many pockets there are. The more pockets, the better. It just keeps you more organized and I just love them. So let's go into this. There is a little pocket. It's a hidden pocket right here. It's deep from here to here. And actually there's no zipper. I love how it's like a little magnet. It's kind of closing it. That's very nice. You know, I would probably put my phone in here to slip it in. But if I have my backpack on, then I might actually put my phone in this large pocket. So it's safer. And going back to the front, I have this pouch here filled with some things. It's a deep pouch. Then there is a clasp. You can hook on your car keys, your house keys, so you don't have to go searching in your bag for it. It's so much easier when you know where it is. Then you have a, another pocket here. I have my mommy pouch in here currently. And that pocket goes to about like right there. Small little pocket, but it is extra space. Um, just leaves you more room in this pocket when you have more pockets in the front so it's kind of beneficial see i have so much space at the top i would be able to slip in a blanket a vest a coat things like that so i love this extra space now there's a deep pouch pocket right here the width is wider than this one. This one's more tighter, but they are deep. So it basically goes down all the way down here. Let me move just some of this so you can see more. Then you have just an empty space where I have some pouches. I have her diapers in here, clothes, extra clothes in there. But if I remove this, you would be able to see. So, you know, this empty space. Then you have two of the same size pouches right here. They're deep. Then you have this little zipper pocket. So, it's small, but it still holds things. The pocket is up to about right here, so it's not as deep. And that's it for the inside. And you have your two insulated pockets right here. They're both insulated. And then, as you guys saw before, this nice large size hidden pocket. It literally goes all the way over here. So it's deep and it's just this size of the width. And I also wanted to show you guys how I transferred everything from the itsy ritzy 
mini bag into this one. This is the size difference. I'm gonna show you guys how I transferred everything from this bag into this. You will see how this one was packed to the max and literally everything that was in here was placed in this one. So you will see how much extra space I have. Let's get to it. did finish packing this bag up. I do have this extra space on top if I ever needed to add like a sweater or some extra clothes. So it is pretty filled, but I do, like I said, have all this extra top area of the bag. But I love the way everything fits and you know, packing this is pretty funny because I had extra pockets on the front that I wasn't used to. So here I am trying to fit everything in the larger one when I could have used this space in the front as well. But I love the way it packs up. I will definitely let you know how this bag works out for me and what I think of it and how it's holding up. So stay tuned for that. video thank you so much for tuning in with us don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos also hit that bell notification button and leave us comments we would love to chat with you guys bye see you guys next time bye